Alright, hey YouTube, um, I wanted to do a quick video, uh, definitely not off topic of things I've done before, but this is definitely going to be for, uh, believers, for Christians, uh, those that say that they're followers of Christ. Remember this, speak the truth in love. The Bible says that if I speak in tongues of angels, but have not love, I'm a resounding gong or clanging cymbal. So whether you're right or not, you speak in love. And then make sure you're right. You better be right. If you're going to claim that you're speaking truth and that this is the right thing to do and the right way to do it, you better know that that shit's backed up by the Bible. It better fucking be. I'm really tired of Christians that are on the Trump train and all this other stuff or the Bo, uh, Joe Biden bandwagon or whatever the fuck you are. I don't care. Y'all need to cut this shit out. You need to understand that God is in control of everything. You need to submit yourself to him and follow his lead. You don't vote for yourself. Christianity is to permeate every part of your life. You don't do things because you feel they're right. You do things because God says they're right. So you need to understand this. It, you, when you sign up to be a Christian, you don't just go to church on Sunday morning and listen to the music and listen to the pastor give a good word and then that's it. No, you go home, you get in that Bible of yours, you get off that shelf, you dig in, you read it, you talk with God, you try to learn everything that you can so that you can truly be a follower of the way, that you can be the, the little imitation Christ uh, that we're supposed to be, because we're supposed to be imitating Jesus in this. That's why the Bible shows us and tells us what he does and how God does things, because we're supposed to be imitating them. That's how we're supposed to live. No, we're human, so we can't do it perfectly. Lord knows I don't. I'm still learning, and I'm still working on this on my own, and I'll be doing it till the day I die. But I've seen too many Christians willing to be hateful, willing to be ignorant, willing to be dumb for no reason. You know the truth. You know what to do. So do it. If you aren't willing to get with God during the week, don't call yourself a Christian. Are you trying to buy fire insurance? God calls us to a walk that is not an easy one for our flesh, but it is a worthwhile one. If y'all have questions, comments, concerns, throw those down below. Peace.